Now let's see the second type of command of quantitative evidence questions. Here's an example. This type asks, which choice most effectively uses data from the graph to illustrate the claim? First of all, you look at the graph. And we can see that on the top it says economic policy uncertainty in the United Kingdom from 2005 to 2010. And on the left, it shows the amount of uncertainty. The higher the values, the more the uncertainty. And on the bottom, you see that this ranges from 2005 until 2010. So this color over here, so the slightly uh, gray one, is for tax and public spending policy. So these ones over here. And the like white one is trade policy. So this one over here. And general economic policy, it's in black, so it's this one. For these questions, I found that you do not need to read in the entire text. Most of the time, we need to read around the last two lines of the text to understand what is going to be in the multiple choices. So over here. All right, let's read the text. So in this case, it starts from here. One revelation of her work is that a general measure may not fully reflect uncertainty about specific areas of policy, as in the case of the United Kingdom, where the general economic policy uncertainty blank. So now we understand that the answer from the multiple choices must show a significant change in general economic policy. The answer from the multiple choices must show first, it must show a significant change in general economic policy. Secondly, it should show a significant change opposite to the change in general economic policy in another policy. And third of all, it just needs to agree with the graph. Let's look at the multiple choices. A. General economic policy uncertainty aligned closely with uncertainty about tax and public spending policy in 2005 but differed from uncertainty about tax and public spending policy by a large amount in 2009. So it says in 2005, general economic policy, so the, uh, the bar that is dark, aligned closely with tax and public spending policy in 2005. So the dark and the gray one. They aligned closely, and yeah, that's true. They're very close, but differed from uncertainty about tax and public spending policy by a large amount in 2009. The dark one differed a lot from the gray one in 2009, but as you can see that this is wrong. It's still very similar, just like in 2005. So this is wrong. Choice B, general economic policy uncertainty was substantially lower than uncertainty about tax and public spending policy each year from 2005 to 2010. So, so the one that is dark is substantially lower than the one that is in gray every year. So in 2001, uh, 2005, there is a little bit of a difference. In 2006, the, uh, the general economic policy is actually more and uh, in 2007 it's also more and so on and so forth so we can see that this is actually wrong choice c general economic policy uncertainty reached its highest level between 2005 and 2010 in the same year that uncertainty about trade policy and tax and public spending policy reached their lowest levels we can see that this is wrong since for example in 2005 the trade policy uh, had a really high uncertainty. And also in 2010, you can see that the tax and public spending policy was also really high. So this is wrong. Choice D. General economic policy uncertainty was substantially lower than uncertainty about trade policy in 2005 and substantially higher than uncertainty about trade policy in 2010. So we can see the general economic policy over here. It was way lower than the trade policy over here in 2005. And in 2010, uh, it was the complete opposite. The general economic policy was high and the trade policy was low. This is how you solve these graphic questions with an uncompleted text. First of all, you need to understand the graph. Secondly, 
you need to read approximately the last two lines. And thirdly, you need to compare the multiple choices to the graph and see if they agree with one another.